this might be the most important video that I've ever made. How to back up your music library in Serato DJ Pro. This has got to be one of the most important videos that I've ever created. And let me tell you why. World Backup Day was on March 31st. I'm a couple days late for this video. But you know, when you're working with your Serato drive, you got to take the most care possible. And let me show you guys why this video is so so important. This is still the hard drive that I use every single day when I go to the club, when I'm working, when I'm out, uh, and I have to hold it like this because it's still an old school hard drive where it's got like the needle and the pins in it. I probably shouldn't have been shaking it like that. That was really stupid of me. But the new drives that I've also told a lot of you guys to get is right here. It's a solid state hard drive. I've had this thing for like two and a half years now, but I still have yet to put it into the real world because I always work off of my lacy hard drive my old school hard drive and today it all changes I just got through my latest batch of new music getting it all sorted built into my crates and I have decided right here when I saw that it was world backup day I decided that I had to one make this video because it's so important to keep a backup of your drive I can't tell you the amount of times that I've heard guys say like I I, I don't know what to do now I've lost everything all of my music is gone my hard drive broke my computer broke Broke, whatever broke down and they don't have a backup. I literally have like four backups of this. Like this right now, my solid state is acting as a backup. I always have it in my bag. Once the Lacey becomes my backup, it's still going to be in my bag at all times because you should always have a backup of your music somewhere. But these are just so much faster now. I have definitely been noticing that like my drive, it's definitely getting to full capacity. So I'm definitely noticing that it's getting slower, loading songs. And the way I play is very quick I'm always mixing I'm always bringing tracks in sometimes I've got to like load the track as I'm hitting a stem so if that track is not loaded at the exact perfect time I'm gonna have like this little like jump somehow figure out how to sync it back up or if it's just a little bit I'll hit it up with a little pitch bend whatever just to catch itself up but sometimes it can become an issue so I needed to make this video because at one I need to do this for me finally I can't talk about this anymore I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of these drives there's a ton of them on sale right now so please if there is one thing that you've ever learned from me please Please get yourself a solid state hard drive it's just it's gonna save you so much even if you use your music on your laptop itself and you keep it on the laptop you never know what happens you gotta have a backup of your music this is so so important whatever it is just make sure that you have a backup so we're gonna jump into it right now I'm gonna show you guys what my hard drive looks like what my backup looks like and then I'm just going to show you once it's done, like how, how I'm going to delete everything off this backup right now. I'm going to kind of wipe it, get it ready. And then I'm just going to copy everything on this to here. And this now becomes my my day to day drive because I don't know what I've been thinking. Still rocking the lacy when I've had this thing for, for years now. But the time has come. I have no more excuses. This gets done today. Let's go. So I just wanted to give a moment of silence for my lacy rugged hard drive. This hard drive has been with me since the dawn of time. It has been to so many parties, so many shows, and it's still like in pristine condition. There's no, there's no scratches on it. There's no dirt on it. I've always said this, like you need to understand how to keep your gear in very good condition. And this stuff will last with you forever. Like I know if someone's walking up to the DJ booth, I know how to push them down the stairs. Like they come, they even try and breathe on my hard drive. I'm punching them in the face. Like it doesn't matter. They can do whatever they want, but do not even come near my hard drive okay the hard drive is off limits and that's how I've lived my life but now maybe I'll give people a little maybe they can like stand beside me and I won't be too anxious about it because I got my new solid state but it's so important to treat your gear with respect and it's gonna last you forever off my soapbox so I just hopped on Amazon for you guys. I will leave a link in the description for each one of these, but there's a ton of solid state hard drives. You want an external one and there's so many out there and then there's a ton on sale right now. So this is the one that I have. This one is the Samsung T7, but it is the rugged edition. You know my Lacey drive, it's a rugged hard drive. So I got it just because it said the word rugged. I've had a rugged for 15 years, give or take. So I had to 
stick it out with that. If not, you can get like this is just the T7. It's not rugged, so I don't know. I don't. I don't think that there's any problem. You got 31,000 five star reviews. Like it's probably pretty good. I'm sure it's fine. Um, this one's just 162 for the two terabyte. The four terabyte is on sale. So if you want a four terabyte solid state drive, it's only 299 right now. It's 200 dollars off. I will leave a link in the comments. Uh, but this one is also on sale. So if you're just looking for a two terabyte, I've heard I've had I've heard very good reviews about this. Like I don't have it. I've never used it. But I do know SanDisk. Like a lot of my drives that I've had in my time have been SanDisk. So 159 solid price. If I already didn't have one, I would grab this, no questions asked. Like 159 is a good price. Um, it's a very cheap price to pay for an eternity of not being anxious about your hard drive dying. Solid. Or again, like if you want the four terabyte, this one's on for 249. So up to you. I want a four terabyte, but I'm not going to pay that until it's about 249. So this is still USD. I want to pay 249 Canadian. So I don't think there's any need. And if you're kind of pushing over the two terabyte mark, maybe it's time to look at like, maybe I need to clean up my drive. So my next step is actually like right now I'm going through and deleting old music, old stuff that doesn't fit me anymore, or I've never played in the past 10 years. I'm going through and deleting it all. So in my opinion, like you don't need more than two terabytes if you want more than two terabytes all good you do you but I don't think you need it now let's get into backing this thing up and please make sure you Hulk smash that like button hit the subscribe button you know what's up all right boom so we are in my hard drive let's just back out real quick so here's my hard drive we got a two terabyte hard drive some of the ones I'm gonna show you are on sale for like four terabytes for 200 bucks whatever you want to do i definitely run a lot of my drives very tight because i'm always downloading music something i'm doing right now is going through a lot of this stuff cleaning out the old stuff that i don't need like right now i got a new folder right here we're not gonna bring the new folder over this is just new music that i don't need anymore so we're gonna delete that right here right now see you later these are a couple crates that i'm working on so if you guys are looking for some master crates make sure you join the djconnect.com there's so much fire for you guys that i give out to all my members for free but you do have to be a member the master drive what do you know about the hip-hop master drive i can't i can't talk to you about the hip-hop master drive unless you're in the dj connect okay and then from there i just have like my old DJ uncut stuff, I got like my dub plates and stuff, so I do want to keep that on there. My samples, my scratch bank, and then from there I just got my Serato. So my drive right now is good to go. I'm going to load this one in. We're going to delete everything off of it. And I would really recommend that you eject this drive first, like your master drive that you have right now. Make sure it's not plugged in. Make sure there's no way ever that you could possibly make a mistake right here so we're gonna eject this drive right now boom it went away now we got the new solid state ready to go we're gonna plug this in it has got a lot of my select music on it right now because there was a time where i was just putting one crate on there to see if i was able to make it through a night not stressing out that i didn't have enough music and i, I was able to do that so now i have like just one crate structure that i'm going to be bringing in but i do want to make sure that this is an exact replica of my actual hard drive because moving forward this is going to be it i'm going to be doing all of my work off of this and the lacy is just going to become an a replica so right now i'm going to wipe this drive clean and then do a copy to bring that in all right so we're in here the drive is called the new fire it's pretty clear there's not much on here i have my set from when i was in vegas so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to let's make a vegas set master all right so you're gonna see this folder here serato this is where all of your crates are saved so this is something that's really important for you to know so if you have like multiple hard drives you're gonna have this folder on any single drive that you've brought music into so a lot of times when people are like missing music and they don't know where it went it's because they loaded it from a different hard drive and now that like that file path is missing so because i don't have anything that i really need on here right now i'm deleting 
deleting this because I don't need my old crates. I don't need my old history. I don't need any of that stuff because we're starting fresh. I was going to wipe it, but I do have these Samsung files. So I'm just going to delete my Serato music. Like this is the stuff that I chose to keep on here. Just my acapellas, my instrumentals, my all killer, no filler, my radio. So if I'm ever live to air on the radio, this is all edited music. I got that one in here. I got my Queen Sports drive which is another different kind of night with different kind of crates and then i just got my strictly fire so in here nothing but fire all day and then i had a wedding so i had a really really stripped down version of my actual serato hard drive but i just wanted to do that to see if i was able to like delete all of the clutter all of the filler get rid of it i don't even have it on the hard drive and see if I was able to DJ on it without stressing out, which I was, which is really cool. It's not going to be this clean, but what I'm doing right now, I'm actively just going through all of my drives, deleting everything. I'm in my Serato, searching songs that I know I have a bunch of remixes for that I don't play, just deleting everything. So... There's a lots of different ways that you can do your music, but the way I like to do it is I like to really, I like a hard copy on a hard drive so that like I always have backups. I'm always safe. I don't have anything I ever need to worry about. Boom. So here we go. Hitting the delete button. Boom. Now we're just deleting everything. I'm so sorry this hard drive, but we got new things coming. All right, the time we have all been waiting for. So now we got the new fire, the new fire. That's my new hard drive. The OG was Serato new. So just so we don't get too confused here, um, from here on out, all we're going to do, because we got nothing else here, we just got my Vegas set in the Samsung files. I'm going to literally grab all of this, copy here, and boom, like in... 12 hours from now, 24 hours from now, we're going to be good. So that's all there is to it. I hope you guys learned a lot. This is probably the most important thing you can ever do for your career. So get yourself a backup, back up your drive, and then like and subscribe. Smash, Hulk smash that thumbs up button for me. If you like that, just hit me up with a like and subscribe.